Hey, hey, everybody. This is Cosmic. Welcome once again to another installment of the, uh, I guess I'm calling this sort of the art of science, but still, I don't know if that name's going to stick or not. But yeah, so what I wanted to show you today was just how I create a master flat. And so this is actually, um, what you're seeing on the um, video here is the um, screensaver that is on the machine that I use to uh, do this work. And, and uh, I, I did not uh, put this there. It, uh, these images came with the machine and uh, I was, uh, you know, um, when I first saw this, it's like, did I do something? What it, you know, because these, of course, are astronomical images here. And I'm just like, what, what? But yeah, um, this is the screensaver. So I just wanted to show that off a little bit here right at the beginning. As I said, what we're going to be doing here is watching, watching me uh, create a master flat. I just took some some new data. Uh, oh, I don't know, a week ago or so now, and and uh, I wanted to go through all of that. So I've got um, I've got a bunch of flats and a bunch of darks that um, um, go with that. The flats uh, are actually with two different exposure times. I think I took a, a series of two second exposures and then it was starting to get a little bit dark. So I took a series of four second exposures. I doubled um, the, um, the exposure. And so I'm going to go to that now. Um, there I go. I don't remember where exactly I put everything. Cal inside the green because I was using the green filter and yeah okay so that's where they are so I'm going to make a new folder here that is going to house the new green filter master flat so now I'm going to go over and find the um, calibration data and then I'm going to copy it over to this local directory here so there it is so, so here's here's all the stuff and as you can see there's a dot flat dot fit and a dark dot dark dot fit and so there are as I said um, four second flats and two second flats there's also um, a series of four second darks and a series of um, two second darks so the first thing that I've got to do is I'm, I, I think I guess what I'm doing here maybe am I going to show am I going to show one of those I don't know exactly what I did I'm watching this video as you are and adding the commentary to it so not quite sure what I'm doing here oh I think I'm looking for the exposure times oh, okay so there's all the headers and now I just want to look for exposure time and uh, I misspelled it there okay there, there there we go so you can see that there's some twos and then there's some fours and let's see what am I going to do next I don't know um, okay I'm just looking at the header there. Okay, I'm going to put that list in a little list just so I know how many there are. As you can see, there are more twos than, than fours. I think I did um, like 40 two second ones and then 20 um, four second ones. Yeah, yeah, so there's 40 there, then it goes all the way down to 60. So, okay, so that's what I've got to work with. Um, first thing that I have to do is I have to subtract 
the corresponding dark with the corresponding flat. So I need to make actually two two different I guess you can call them master darks. There's everything there. All the flats. Okay, yeah, so now I'm um, separating the flats into the two second flats and the four second flats. So there's a flat two second list and then I delete 40 of them and I write that out to a flat four second list. Okay, so I've got those. I'm going to do the same thing with the darks. Uh, let's see. I'll take a sip of coffee here. Here we go. Well, dark, not fark. <laughs> dark dot fit. So that's the whole dark list. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I've got to figure out uh, which is which because there are some two second ones and some four second ones in here. So there's all the twos. There's a bunch of twos. And I bet you if I go up here, yeah, there's a bunch of fours there. So. As I said, I think I've got 40 of, of each, if I remember right. Um, exposure list. Okay. So now I'm going to go into the, into the dark exposure list and just confirm. And <laughs> I'm sort of doing this a little bit, bit wrong. I've got to look at the right list here. <laughs> so that's just part of the whole whole thing. Setting. It's like, oh wait, I'm looking at the wrong thing. So, okay, so here we go. So I'm going to go down to, I think I'm going to go down to line number 40, if I remember right. Yeah, line number 40. And I'm going to write that out to a dark four-second list, because that was the first, first 40. And then I'm going to come down and delete the first 40 and write out the last 40 as my two second list. Okay, so now I'm now I'm going to make I think <laughs> a whoop whoop jostling around a little bit there. Trying to situate things. Okay. So well, what am I doing now? Five two second list. I don't know why exactly I'm oh, Okay, so I'm making in order to subtract the darks I need a, an input list and an output list so I am making a dark subtracted flat list that's what that is flat dark list uh, dark list that's Yeah, I think I want yeah a flat two-second dark list. Yeah, and then I want uh, and then that's it for that one. And then I've got to go over. Come on, and I've got to do the same thing for the four-second list. Same same kind of thing. So, come on, do you know what you're doing or what? I don't think you know what you're doing. <laughs> um, hi, I've got a kitty that's going to join me up on the lap here, I think. Oh, no, he wandered away. Yeah, see, I'm, no, this is not, this is not right. And I'm realizing that. That's why there's a big pause. I want to look at the flat four-second list. Or the two-second list, I guess. Did I do the four four-second list? I don't remember now. <laughs> four-second. Okay. Four-second list. Yeah. So I'm going to change the flat dot fit to... Flat underscore dark dot fits. It's just a. I just changed the naming convention a little bit here. No big deal. 
Okay, and I'm going to write that out as a flat four second dark list. Okay, so now I can create my, I guess you call them master darks. And I do that with an IRAF command called incombine. So there's the two second list, master dark, two second dot fits, combine is going to be an average, bam. And I'll do exactly the same for um, the four second list. Okay. So now I can subtract the four second flats from the four second master dark and the two second flats from the two second master dark. Hope that makes sense. It sounds complicated, but it really, really isn't. So here I am, I'm going to subtract the two second list from the master dark two second and uh, put that into that new dark subtracted list. Got to subtract the darks first before you can um, work with this data. So just changing everything from two seconds to four seconds, doing the same thing. <coughs> right. So now I've got a set of dark subtracted flats. Now what I have to do is I have to normalize each flat and that means um, I want the values, the actual data values, um, to go from um, about zero um, um, to about one. And the way that I do that is by um, um, calculating the mean value, the average value of each image, each dark subtracted image. And then I divide each flat by its corresponding mean value. And that is going to put you um, into a range that goes um, um, potentially you know, from 0 to, to 1. So that's just sort of what I'm doing now. And it actually um, turns out, OK, so here you can see that I've computed the mean of each of those images. So now I'm creating a little IRAF script that is going to uh, actually do the division for me. So I'm building it up here with some rapid finger work. There's uh, 60 of these. So, you know, it, uh, just sort of do the same operation each and every time, watching carefully to make sure that <laughs> doing the right thing. Okay, so now I've got the command there, and then I'm going to do a divide all the way down. All the way down to the end. And then I have to specify an output fits file. So I'm going to do that by coming over here at the end. And I just sort of grab that. But instead of being flat underscore dark dot fits, it's going to be flat underscore dark underscore norm dot fits. So now it's normalized. OK, so now I'll grab those that were that and I'll copy each one of those. This is part of the tedious work. Now, I mean, I could write a script or some kind of a program that could actually do this all um, for me, but I figure, eh, you know, I've got to put in the time here, <laughs> so I might as well do it. So I've got to renumber each one of these. So I go through and I fill in the first digit, which is the hardest because each one is different, but it's nice because it repeats. So yeah, you know, there are lots of ways that I could make this easier. Don't worry about it. I thoroughly enjoy doing this. So no problem. Okay, so I've 
done the first digit, so now I've got to go back up and I've got to make that a 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then 20, 20s, 30s. Forties and whoop, whoop, and whoop, I did a fifty nine there. Go back up, change that forty nine. There we go. Fifties. Okay, so that's it. So that's that's a little script. So now I will run that and bam, it's done. And I think what am I doing here? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm watching this as you watch this. So, dot dark norm dot fits. Okay, so I'm just making a, a master flat list. Because then what I can do is I can just combine these. Okay, I'm doing some, some stats. You can sort of see. Uh, Yeah, I'm just doing a min-max there. So you can see that they're going from like 0 0.95 to 1.05, and that's about right. It's about a 5% um, variation with these flats. And so here, here is one flat. One flat. So you can see, you know, all the donuts and weird things. And, you know, there's this weird edge, edge thing on the chip. Just a little bit more um, sensitive on the edge. It's fine. It's noisy though. It's only one, one flat, and that's why I take a bunch of these because then I can average them, and that will sort of smooth everything out a little bit. So this is the actual creation of the green master flat here. Combine equals average. And there it goes, 60 of them. So now I'm going to display that one. Do a quick min max. Should be yeah, 0.95 to 1.05. That's just about right. And let's see, we're going to master flat green dot fits. And you can sort of see, hopefully, you can see that that's a little less noisy. So that is that is the master flat there on the right, the one that I'm um, messing with at the moment. So yeah, that's how it's done. That is the master flat. Oh, I see. I'm uh, I'm uh, playing a little bit with the color palettes here, just to sort of show those off a little bit. Colors are nice because you can enhance different things that you normally wouldn't, wouldn't see. But you can definitely see there that the one on the left is, is a little bit noisier than the one on the right. So, alright. Well, that's it. Hope you enjoyed that. I will, uh, I will see you in the next installation. Alright everybody, take care. Bye.